Good day. In this video I will show you how to import a custom section from a DWG or DXF file into your section database to allow you to use it within your structural analysis. We will look at how you can import a custom section into Pads and ProBar 2D, how to use a macro to import a section into ProSec and to save it as a custom section within your section database. We will then have a look at how you can use the section database within Sumo or Frame to import your custom section into your structural model. Once you have drawn your custom section, you can save it as a DWG or DXF file. You can then open pads to read your saved DWG file from the file drop-down selection. This will allow you to import the custom section into pads. You don't need to fit the drawing to your pads paper and you can choose to keep the imported drawing to its original size. Once you have successfully imported your section into pads, you can open the macro drop down menu to generate the ProSec input file. The commands at the bottom left hand corner will prompt you to select an outline of the section that needs to be traced. After selecting an outline, pads will ask you for another line as well as an opening to trace which in this case will not be necessary, because we only have one shape and no openings within it. You can press escape in your keyboard to finish the ProSec input file, which will then automatically open ProSec. The output generated will give all the sections resultant properties. You can also view this output results within the generated calc sheet. You can then export the section from ProSec to your section database from the file drop down menu. You will need to specify a section designation as well as whether it will be a custom steel or concrete section. Your section database will automatically open and import the custom section along with its properties. You will need to save your section database once you have imported your section from ProSec. After saving, you can close your section database and your newly added section will be available for use within your analysis programs. If you have ProBar 2D, you can perform the same procedure within AutoCAD. Within ProBot 2D, you can select the ProCon Tools wizard and select the option to generate the ProSec input file. You can follow the AutoCAD commands and select the outline of the section to import it into ProSec. This will result in exactly the same output as generated from pads. Within Sumo, you will now be able to use your custom section from the section database. From the section input table, you can select your custom steel section from the drop down menu and select your saved plate girder section. You will then be able to model the plate girder within your structural model. In an existing frame model, you can also import and use your custom section. Within the beam section input table, you will open your section database and import your custom section into your model. You can then turn on your 3D rendering to view the visual representation of your custom section. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.